Hey, what is up, everybody? Michael Crump back here again, talking about the latest and the greatest in PlayStation, homebrew news, and much, much more. So just yesterday, I released a brand new episode of the PlayStation Homebrew News where I covered a ton of different updates. But then I was reminded that, hey, it looks like you didn't cover this one, and I wanted to know a little bit more information about it. And so what this is, is, is that Lightning Mods, again, has made a, another tool here, and it says the new online homebrew store installer is now available for 9.00 and 5.05, it says you can install the Homebrew Store using only the PKG Zone website through the browser. So simply load Gold Hen or Mirror and go to pkg-zone.com slash install on your PS4. And it does have tagged in here the person that worked on the PS4 Remote Package Sender. I believe that's the name of the application. But anyway, I think you know what I'm talking about. And then there is a number two here, and it says the Install the Store on PS4 button has been added to PKG Zone, which provides instructions on how to install the store through the PS4 web browser. So the reason that I am talking a bit about this today is, is that if you were setting up a brand new PlayStation 4 and maybe you just did the jailbreak, now you could install the Homebrew Store without downloading the PKG, putting it on a USB drive, inserting it into your PlayStation 4. So really, this is just going to make the process a lot easier. Now, I tried this URL, obviously, in my browser. And again, it does detect that what browser that you're currently using. So what I thought was that we would switch over to the PlayStation 4 and we would try it where it's supposed to be run at. Okay, so here I am over on my PlayStation 4, and as you can see right here, I already have the Homebrew Store installed. And so what I'm going to do just to begin with here is we're going to come up to Delete, and we're going to select OK. And now that has been deleted, and obviously I already have Gold Hen version 2.3 running. So with that, let's go ahead and jump straight into the internet browser. So we are going to go to pkg-zone.com slash install, and we're going to press R2 to go here, and let's see what happens. So it does say starting the online store installer, and there is not enough free memory, which is normal. I believe we need to close out of the browser here. So it says added to downloads, and right there it is, and it is ready to use. But now at this point, I do have the homebrew store on my PlayStation 4, so this is absolutely working. Now, it would be nice if this automatically downloaded the very latest update versus downloading it and then there being another update right behind it. But let's just go ahead and continue the experience there. So it does say the update has been applied and now it is beginning to download the icons which we would need. So we can obviously come over here into the different store groups and go to like utility, for example, and it will take a little bit of time, but here is all of the homebrew applications that we could go ahead and install on our PlayStation 4. So I also wanted to try this with the system that wasn't already jailbroken and see what happens from there. And there is PKG-Zone. And as we can see right here, it does say hen is required. So let's see what it does if you don't have gold hen already installed. And it says starting the online store installer, but yeah, it doesn't have gold hen. So it looks like you would have to load gold hen first before you could use this site. So, I mean, that's really nice that at least that it tells you that. Okay, and so pretty much if you don't have Gold Hen installed, it will give you that message and then you can load Gold Hen or Mirror or whatever you're currently using. Okay, well, thank you so very much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Michael, out!